Hi, in this video, we're going to ask the question, can we predict the change in rate if we change concentration? So I have three basic steps for you. The first one I call the baseline. You've got to create a baseline by um, substituting one for every concentration, okay? Second, we're going to substitute in the conditions that were given in the problem. And then third, all you do is compare uh, the rate that you got from step one to the rate that you got in step two, the new conditions, and that will tell you how to predict the change in rate. So I have several examples here. We're going to have uh, first this rate law. Rate equals K times the concentration of A to the first order times the concentration of B to the second order. Um, so let me ask you a quick question. What's the overall, uh, overall order for that rate law? One plus two, third order, using that ordinal term third order. Nice. Um, so in this first example, we're going to say A is held constant and B is doubled. And we want to know what happens to the rate, predict the change in rate. Um, so let's do step one. We're going to create our baseline. I'm going to say rate equals K and I'm going to put one in for every concentration. One to the one times one to that second order. And remember the orders, we just use those as exponents. Um, this is going to be rate equals one. Okay, the rate will equal one. I'll put it right here. Rate equals one. Now, I'm going to substitute in our situation, okay? The new conditions that they're giving us. They're saying A is constant, B is doubled. So let's go ahead and do that. Rate equals K. So A is constant, that means it's going to be the same. Constant from A um, where it was one, so that means A is still one. It's going to be constant. Now, B is doubled. Well, what's double one? It's two. So this is going to be two squared. So one to the one is one, two squared is four, one times four is four. So now we can make our prediction. It is going to go four times faster. It will quadruple. If you double B and hold A constant, the rate will go four times faster. And if they happen to give you the initial rate, all you'd have to do is multiply it by four if you doubled B, and that because you know that the rate will go four times faster. Okay, let's do it again. This time we're going to flip flop. Flip flop. We're going to change the conditions. Now A is doubled and B is held constant. Um, so we know that the rate is going to be one, and we rig it that way by putting one in for every concentration. The rate will always be one. It makes it really easy to compare. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's have um, the rate of A will double, so that will become a two to the one, and B's held constant, so B's still one, and that one was to the second order, so it's squared. So two to the one is two, one squared is one, two times one is two. So in this second situation, if we double A and B's held constant, what happens to the rate? Is going to double. It will go twice as fast. So in this situation, the rate will double. Again, if you're given the rate, maybe it's, um, let's see, 0.5 molar per second. Um, if you double A, it's going to go twice as fast. So you just multiply that by two. Instead of being 0.5 molar, it'd be one molar per second. Okay, let's do another example. Um, let's take our A this time, and I'm going to half it. So A, let's say that this is going to be one half. Actually, we'll just do it this way. We're going to half. And let's this time take B and um, we'll hold that one constant. Okay, so let's see what happens if I half the um, concentration of A. Well, again, we start with the baseline. Let's put one in for everything. So rate will be K. Um, one to the second order and one to the third order. That's setting everything equal to one, my A and my B. I'm creating this baseline. That will give us a rate of one. Okay, let's go ahead and substitute these new conditions. We will have rate equals K um, times one half. So half of one, if I'm having the concentration is half, squared times one cubed Okay, one cubed is one, one half squared. One half times one half is one fourth. So one fourth times one is one fourth. Wow. So by 
have, having the uh, concentration of A, this is going to go four times slower. It's going to go one fourth the rate. Um, so again, if that was 0.5, um, and if I half A in this situation, it's going to go uh, four times slower. What's that going to be? It's going to go 0.125 molar per second instead of 0.5. You just multiply that rate by one fourth. It goes four times slower. Um, for fun, let's do kind of some bigger numbers. Let's say uh, for A and B in this next situation, so this would be our second situation, A, let's double, and B, let's double. You could see if we were working for a manufacturer, um, time is money. I want to make the most money possible. I want reactions to go as fast as possible. It would be a big deal knowing the impact, the orders um, of concentrations in a rate law. You'll see why I illustrated beautifully right here. Okay, so I've already created my baseline. Let's go ahead and substitute in our new situations. We're going to have rate equals K. So A is doubled, so I'll go from one to two, since I double that, and that's to the second order squared. Um, B is also doubled, so it goes from one to two. Double that, and that's cute. Wow, so two times two is four. And then we have two times two times two is eight. So that's going to give us 32. Wow, just by doubling both A and B, this reaction will go 30 time, 32 times faster. So then we'd be weighing cost of money, is it worth doubling, paying the money to double the reactants to go 32 times faster? There's a good chance that it, that it is. Make some good money for us. Okay, so that's how you predict a change in rate if you're given uh, changes of concentrations. Create that baseline just by putting one in. Then you substitute in the conditions that they give you. Just compare the rates and you'll be able to predict the change in rate. All right, good job, have a nice day. If you have any questions on rate, look under the rate playlist on Lean Think. Thanks.